All right guys, Kevin here. So today I'm doing this video outside. It's just a quick video, but I want to prove a point. So recently in my home state of North Carolina, a man was arrested for neglecting his goldfish. So today I went out and caught some fish and I'm going to kill this fish right now and challenge those same police to come and arrest me. Because what this was guys, it was a gotcha crime. All right. They wanted the guy for something else and they used this as an excuse to get him. And the worst part about it was, it's essentially, they put him in a debtor's prison because that's what they wanted him for, was uh, fraud or some sort of other trumped up charge where they could get him for not paying his bills because he was in a situation where he was late on his rent, he was getting evicted, and he left his goldfish behind in the apartment. And so what happens, the police walk through with the landlord, they start talking about this guy and the police decide, well, I'm gonna go get him for the landlord on their behalf on this trumped up charge of cruelty to animals. Now, guys, we live in a country that has become less and less free, spectacularly less and less free over the last 30 years. We've given up way too much liberty for security. And to tell you the truth, I would rather be a lot less safe and a lot more free. And a lot of times the left will say, well, name these liberties that you've lost over the last few years. And they're all minor, right? The ability to smoke in your car, for instance, and you can't do that in California. The ability to own a high capacity magazine, you can't do that. To drink a 60 ounce soda or whatever this is, you can't do that in New York, right? It's all small stuff, but it all adds up and it's just more things that they can get you with. So yeah, guys, and here's the thing. I don't like killing animals, okay? I enjoy fishing and hunting. And I've had people who watch my videos say, well, you shouldn't do that. You can get the stuff at the grocery store. But, guys, this is fresh right here. This is the real deal. No hormones, no chemicals. It's not from China where it's been swimming in sewage. And I respect this animal. I use every part of this animal. I'll put its head, after I'm done cutting it off, I'm going to put it in that garden over there. See, I just planted the garden, by the way. So, every part gets used. And that... It's something I think more people need to learn, respect for these animals. Uh, I think, you know, if you want to solve all the environmental problems in America, have all those libtards in the city come stay with us out in the suburbs and out in the country for a little while, and they can uh, get a better respect for the environment, for conservationism, instead of harping on global warming all day. If we focus on true conservationism, if we you know, across the board, by the way, not just when it comes to wildlife, but if we focus on, on conservation and, and pollution instead of carbon emissions, we'd solve a lot of problems. So yeah, that's it, guys. I just wanted to talk about these sort of gotcha laws that we're seeing and how we should be going the opposite direction. I know a lot of times we want to say, oh, we should empower Trump more. But we shouldn't, really, you know, it sounds nice. And sometimes I, I find myself agreeing, but then I think about it for a minute. I think, no, I'd rather go back to my libertarian roots when it comes to the amount of power government has over people. Anyway, there's that. And, and also one more thing. When you talk about usury and debtors' prisons, guys, this is a foreign concept. It really, it, well, at least it should be to us. You know, it's not in the United States, but in Europe, it wasn't allowed. Christians and Christian majority nations did not allow usury. Not until the, uh, the Renaissance period where Jewish bankers came in and they allowed the Jewish bankers to give these high interest loans to circumnavigate the whole system set up by the Roman Catholic Church and the royal families of Europe. So we should not allow usury. We need to end usury here in America and in Europe and, uh, you know, it probably won't happen, but something maybe we can get a conversation started about. Anyway, I'm out, guys.